Hey, what's up guys, Frosty. The Snowman. Here and today, we're taking a look at a hand cannon known as Dire Promise. So, I already made a video on this in the past, talking about it, how it might be the new spare rations, and I'm here to say, indeed it is, because it has to replace that weapon for me, but not for the reasons that you think. Sure, it might be a little bit better in terms of perks and certain stats, but the main reason is because I am bored of spare rations. I needed something new and refreshing now the sad thing is this isn't really considered new it's just kind of a weapon that came back from year one but at least it kind of just keeps things a little bit more refreshing than usual when i want to use a meta hand cannon so my dire promise is pretty nasty let's take a look at the perks here I'm going to be using SETI Hand HCS, increase the stability in handling speed. I really like the look of the sight. I could also offer more range, but I don't really need it. Anyways, let's continue. So I'm using ricochet rounds. I found that high caliber wasn't really doing much for me. and I kind of wanted that little bit of stability uh, just to help me keep my shots on point. Next up, I got a pretty good perk called Snapshot Sights. Now here, you're going to want to have opening shot to increase your range and accuracy on your opening bullet, but it's okay. Snapshot and some other perks are still pretty good to go for. Now another main perk you want is Range Finder. Every time you aim down sights, you're going to have an increase of range, allowing you to get three taps from further distances, which is really good for these hand cannons because Bungie nerfed their range uh, a lot and they've been suffering. But... You know, stuff like this really helps them compete against the more dominant weapons like auto rifles and stuff like that. Anyways, I got range masterwork. I'm going to be using Icarus as usual on all my weapons just for those jump shots. So it's a 150 RPM hand cannon, lightweight frame. What else can I say? It's a really solid, good hand cannon. Downside is there's a difficult uh, way to grind for it, and that's turning in legendary engrams at the Cryptarch. So... Yeah, man, good luck with that, because it took me a lot to try to get a decent one. Anyways, let's take a look at the rest of my loadout. So I got a pretty meta build here. I'm using Mind Benders, Snapshot, Quick Draw, Assault Mag, Rifle, Barrel. I am opting for this roll over my other one that has Slide Shot, Quick Draw. I'm really liking the snappiness, and having Assault Mag to kind of shoot faster helps me a lot in those close range situations. Hammerhead, in case I pick up any power ammo. So the remainder of my perks and mods are things to help out the hand cannon build. I got dude marchers for this one. So like I said, pretty meta build here. So I hope you guys enjoy the post commentary. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. I'm going to be moving towards the part of the map where I know I'm going to get the most engagements. And it is going to be on this side here where the staircase area is at. I see the radar pinks. I'm going to check the front and the right side. I try to dodge the sniper player. When I looked to my right, I didn't see anybody on the ground, so my prediction was he was more than likely in the air, and he was. Now I continue to hit my primary headshots, the warlock I had killed with the melee ended up choking, giving me that frontal assault, which allowed me to go on this rampage you're seeing now. <laughs> These guys are a little bit AFK as they're shook with the fact that I'm about to drop a massive 65 bomb. I get the special ammo, I'm only running one scavenger, so I need all those bricks. I take advantage of the head glitch on the staircase, giving me the Ghost of the Night medal. I pop a barricade. Luckily, I didn't die to the pulse rifle shots there. The guy must have missed one of his bursts. Now, when I'm sitting on the stairs, I always pay attention to my radar, making sure I don't get flanked, and which is why you see me turn around, able to clean up two kills. So usually, I wouldn't recommend challenging a long-range sniper rifle player like this, but seeing that I have a huge lead and I'm in the zone, kind of on fire, I kind of want to just challenge everything. I get really good timing here. The Titan's not looking at me. I get a little bit too close and personal for the Warlock as he has a long range pulse rifle. See the radar ping, so I just engage as fast as possible. To so anybody that I see on this wall, I'm chasing this guy, man. I'm like, where are you going? Come back. I see this hunter coming from behind. So I try to engage some distance between us and then turn around to try to outplay him with the shotgun. Unfortunately for me, I was not paying enough attention to when the power ammo came up, so this guy shut me down. But looking at the screen here, I noticed my teammates are on the right side. I can make a prediction that these players are still spawning on the church area. So you're going to be seeing me playing around the wall. I'm being slow here, not aiming down my shotgun, just being ready to click the trigger in case anybody slides in. 
managing to get a triple down. Unfortunately, couldn't get the fourth because I got swarmed a little bit too fast. So I'm still looking at the screen and noted my teammates are on the right side. I'm going to make the prediction again that they are at church. So I'm very bloodthirsty right now. Kind of just want to rush these guys and get as many kills as possible. And I realized, all right, I am slain, but I can't afford to just run at them in a straight line and expect to get all the kills because right there I got shot down by a sniper body shot. So in my next attempt to play an aggressive, I'm going to be more sneaky taking advantage of the walls and going around different angles. I take advantage of the radar here. I go crouch, so these two guys weren't aware of me, allowing me to get a three-tap on the Warlock. Hunter, I just simply outgunned. He missed one of his shots. Here you're seeing the sneaky play in action as I go around the wall to get a shotgun kill. Now that I'm close enough, I can pop a super. Finish these two guys off. Almost died to the Titan. He made a huge play there, reducing all my health. Unfortunately for him, nobody else was there to clean up the mess. Kill the hunter, and that is the end of my superhero. I look at the radar ping, trying to see if I can help these guys. But now I know they're not at church, because I just came from there. They're not on top. They must be at bird nest. I rush in, drop a grenade at the power ammo in case anybody wants to pick that up. I get the shotgun kill, hoping that I could get the melee kill, and I wasn't. If I was running Thunder Coil, I more than likely would have gotten that one. But it's okay. So... Pretty bloodthirsty right now. I just want to get back into action and I get shut down, punished for it, telling me once again, hey, you can't afford to do that. These guys are still paying attention. They can still hit their shots. So I get shut down by the full rifle player. So now I'm trying to be a little bit sneaky. Flying in. Striker Titan that didn't go for me, thankfully. I'm looking at all these radar pings. I'm like, yo, there's going to be a lot of action going down. I get a little bit overwhelmed. So I kind of just chill back with a barricade, trying to break down the situation, look at the radar a little bit more, try to read it. This is a spot right here that I jumped up to thinking that I'd be safe because, you know, it's kind of unpredictable for someone to be up there. Unfortunately, I get shut down by the guy on the left side. Now, that would have been bad if anybody spawned on my right side down the street. But because of the experience that I have, if people are spawning where I'm at, then I should be OK to be on that area for a while. So I come in here, get a two-piece, almost died. Luckily, I had my teammate drop a tether, which allows me to get this final kill on the Titan. This Warlock just chokes this Nova Bomb. I don't know what he's shooting. I was a little bit surprised from the situation, so I'm like, all right, that's over with. Let me try to get away and survive. But the Dom Blade says, no, you're going to go down again. See this guy at the top of the stairs. I hit three headshots. Hand Cannon Rage are coming in clutch right there for him. Missing a couple shots on this Titan as well. The pressure of all the radar pings is getting to me, and it seems it's getting to the golden gun as well as he chokes all his shots, managing to kill him, but I die right after. And honestly, that was well worth it, dude. We shut down the golden gun at close range. Let's go. Noticing the radar pings at church, my teammate popped the super, so I'm going to make the assumption that they're all going to die. I see the rift here, so I'm being a little bit cautious there might be someone sitting there getting their health region which is why you saw my shotgun aim down a little bit lower just in case there was somebody there we get a nice team shot against the player on the wall with my teammate you're gonna see more of those here as i'm locating some more players crispy team shots going down thankfully i had my teammate support there i probably would have gone out gunned because they were a little bit too far the flinch from their weapons would have came through and beaten me there so I get access to the power ammo. My goal with power is just to waste it as quickly as possible. Right now, since I'm kind of on fire with the primary, I really don't care enough to camp it out with my machine gun to get a couple more kills. I just want to keep the momentum going. As you see this, I'm chasing these guys down as fast as possible with my striker. I read the situation right away. These guys are too far and they're spawning there. So I'll pop a barricade to kind of block some damage as I turn around and disengage. I come back with a grenade. Get one kill. I try to engage the guy in the back, but he is pre-firing that auto rifle, hitting crispy shots, shutting me down. So I was pretty disappointed I wasn't able to kill that player right there. I see a radar ping on my left side, but it seems like it's only one player kind of playing the flank. I kind of ignore him. I'm more interested in the location where majority of the players are at, which is going to be right here. So I create some distance because I'm trying to read the radar, making sure that I know what's going on. 
Uh, one of the players just rushes me completely, which was a really good strat for me to just kind of slide away, have that distance, and shut him down with the shoddy. Making sure I pay attention to everything around me. As you saw, I got in a gunfight with the hunter, but then I quickly look somewhere else to make sure that I don't get team shot. Always being aware the team shots are a thing. Trying to hit a couple shots on this guy as he has the protection from this concrete wall. Not allowing me to hit the final headshot needed, but it's fine. I had some teammate support to get the team shots. I get the stairs head glitch. Hitting two headshots, that's a win right there. I'm a little bit weak. I see this radar ping, so I try to shock and slide him. Unfortunately, I missed. This guy could have shut me down and punished me for that play. But luckily, I get the two hit melee, and then I follow with a shotgun blast on this warlock. So because of my map knowledge, I didn't see the player where I expected him to be when I saw the radar. I ended up turning around and being able to predict them being behind me. This guy just hits a good play, jumps over me with the hunter jump, creating a huge uh, fast play, not allowing me to react quick enough to that. Took my grenade, but that's fine. I still engage with my primary. I saw where that grenade came from, so I'm predicting he's right behind the truck, which is why you saw me pull my shotgun, and he wasn't there. So I ended up just switching to my primary and engaging the other guys. I was very confident that I was going to hit my third headshot on this player, at least get a trade, but unfortunately for me, I hit a body shot and he ended up winning the fight. I'm still running in there trying to get as many kills as possible, and this guy just shuts me down with a Nova Bomb, almost making the same play he did before where he misses, but this time he actually hits me. Kind of sad about that. We take all the special ammo in case we get any close range shotgun battles. Paying attention to the radar, looking around the map, I see the player on the right side just barely and I react. We see the X on this guy. That's not one head mass, that's just the tether. We engage this guy. He gets a little bit too close, so I switch to the shotgun. I hit a couple primary shots so I know my shadow is gonna map him. This guy I does not know what's going on, man. He's blocking with the Titan, probably has all that flinch and all those effect particles. He just doesn't see that I'm right next to him and I melee him from the back. I notice the game is almost over, so I just pop my super, try to get as many kills as possible. I'm spamming my shoulder charge attack here to try to get to the action right away. Get a kill on the Titan. Almost got a kill on the Hunter, but he uses his little space bar in order to dodge that. I spawn up again. I know there's 20 seconds on the clock. Three points left. I'm like, all right, who's going to be my final kill? Is this guy, he hits a body shot, but I'm not going to back away. I'm still going to engage. All he had to do was just hit me one more time and I was dead. I'm still running in. I was like, all right, that's my final kill. Tyne, what are you aiming at? Pay attention to your radar because I'm aiming. All right, that was game. So I knew I was in the zone, pretty chill match for me. I uh, take a sip of water. I look at the scoreboard. I'm like, whoa, I kind of went in, bro. Yo, I was kind of slain. <laughs> like, okay, that was a good game, GG. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, man. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.